So, you guys have fucked up by GTA 4 and the lag that it has. I know, and I had that thing that fucked the hell out of me. And I really find a useful way to fix it. And which is what are, what is 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 a laptop plugged in into another screen that this screen is for gaming and that for just chilling around and anyway playing and playing music and other stuff. Anyway, we're gonna work on that and I will show you how to fix that thing. First of all, let's open my computer. I have Windows 8, this will work uh, maybe with Windows 7 and other Windows. And, and maybe I am sure of all the, it will work with all the Windows anyway. I am logging in here into my computer. And this is not my. Uh, this this is the second account that I have on my computer. Anyway, first when you open it, it's gonna be like that. This is a new account. What you gonna do? Order for your computer to load some stuff. After it, what you gonna do? I know you're gonna log in with your own account. I know with your user account, uh, but this is not my real and the administrator account. Anyway, I will show you what I did. You have many programs, many programs that it's running behind the scene, and it does take a lot from your performance of your stuff. So, what you're gonna do, go to control panel, and you can see that there is user account. And, uh, where is my manage another account? Okay, so this is my first account uh, that came with the, game, with the computer. So this is my second one and I have made it as an administrator and this is my local account and I have made a like this is for gaming and this is for the some stuff that I did. So it have many servers that runs while it runs. Anyway, after you manage another account, set up another user then make it an administrator user. There is a standard user. So and if you want to put a password, anyway, if you want, if you want, if you don't want, anyway. After you're done making your account, it's gonna, like, if your Windows 8 is gonna start up normally with, we are, like, uh, what is it called? We are making your computer ready to run. Then after it is launched your disk, to your desktop. After that, you're gonna restart your computer and real, uh, shut down your computer, then wait for a few seconds, then relaunch it, and enter the password if you have a password to the second account that you made, and you're gonna be using the second account, which is this one, and it does not have a lot of processes in the background. As you can see, my background stuff is some simple stuff that the computer needs. I know it's a lot for normal computer. Yours should be less because I have many stuff, many really many stuff that's running in the background. And yours should be less. Anyway, I'm going to show you my computer properties. Is this this thing and you can see that 
a processor is this, the rate of that, and rate of that, and rate of that, and rate of that. Anyway, I didn't see that. Look for it, no, 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 no. To view the print detail. You can see my information. My total graphic card. I have Intel, so that's gonna give me only this, and I can change it to this one. So this is the locked one. If you have nobody, you're lucky if you don't have. Anyway, to supply at uh, adapter driver version. There is a newer, I think. And we're gonna go to the website and update it to the latest version. Then come back and it's gonna restore it. Review it after you update it, the drivers, and other stuff, and restart your computer, relaunch it again, go to the game. Go to the game, game. And launch GTA 4. You can see that GTA 4 is over there. I hope it's recording. I'm gonna run it in Windows, it's, uh, it's gonna be a lot easier for me. <sighs> Just wait for it to launch the game. See my options and my graphic stuff. See that this is these are my things anyway. Go back store the game. And I have added a couple stuff to the game, so I'm gonna give it to you. It's um gra graphic stuff so you can make your game look more way awesome and you're not going to be bored, bored from this game. <sighs> Why I'm recording with my simple phone calls? I'm recording with my simple phone calls. I, I don't want to use that one. And anyway, this is enough. And if I I'm gonna install a recorder because the the other recorders are not working with me by recording the voice and other stuff. Anyway, let's go street, and you can see there is no lag at all, at all. Maybe you are seeing lag, but not like when you are recording is different than just in the real life. I'm going to get my simple car and I'm going to go to the car. The car is not a big deal. Everyone can. Maybe I'll have this. I'm going to have this. I think it's going to be lagging in the video, but it does not lag in the actually what I'm seeing. It's different than what I'm recording.
if you understand what I said in the first, uh, at the, what I said about the making account and what it does actually, what I, what is the point of making the new account is you are not going to launch all the application at the startup. That's first. And some process services are not going to be running uh, 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 in the background. There is not going to be much as uh, the first account that you have. Because the first account, maybe you have installed many stuff. And you don't want to delete anyone or stop any, any one of them. So you want to play gaming. So like that account. And if you want uh, the or using whatever as the other account. It's simple as that and hope you enjoy guys the the graphic stuff is gonna be in the description and my save is gonna be in the description and I hope you enjoy a lot gaming this game the awesome game and peace